Hey, welcome to this amazing Microsoft Excel video tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the new take and drop functions combined with other new and advanced function Excel to create a classic dynamic report using a single cell formula. So let's get started. Now, this is going to be a huge formula writing exercise so we're going to write quite a long and gigantic formula so please pay attention as we follow along and um, by the way if you're new to the channel please click on the subscribe button and turn on the bell icon to get notification of new videos this is the solution of what we intend to do in this exercise now you can see we have a single cell that generates all this result for all these columns and the rows and of course when you come to cell k1 we've got what's called a list drop down in a so you can actually select another other priority such as critical and you can see the formula update dynamically like change to let's say medium it dynamically update you can see the totals at the bottom here now we have the count of account manager total we have the average max main total and the percentage of total here this is a single cell formula and of course it's going to be an awesome one. now before we go to the real exercise i need to spell out that now this is our source data and the data set is officially stored in an excel table and very importantly i have created a named range using the create from selection now when you check the name box click on the drop down you can see this arrays of named ranges in a so we're going to use all this in order to speed up writing our formula so without much talking let's dive into the real exercise so i'm going to come to the exercise sheet now i have just nothing here other than the names of the columns and of course this drop down which i believe many of you know how to create an excel all right so in cell a2 i'm going to write the formula using the amazing let function with other several function combined so equal sign let now the first argument of the let function is to define a name assign value to the name and then you can keep on defining names assigning value to the names and ultimately you're going to need your final calculation so for the very name one i'm going to call it unique sorted list of account manager i'm going to put in a comma now the value that i want to assign is to use the sort function and then the unique function and then i'm going to call the account managers named range close the bracket for the innermost function the unique and the outermost sort function comma and then we can evaluate this function because we actually want to learn how to evaluate within the let function as we go along in this huge formula base exercise so press the tab key close the bracket control enter now this returned the sorted list of the unique account manager's name from the account manager's named range okay so we have the list of the names here now in cell a16 i actually want to put in totals in, in there so i'm just going to come back to this formula now in order to make this formula easy for us to understand we're going to begin to indent the formula as much as possible so i'm going to come here i'm going to do alt enter and that's jump to the next line and that's amazing so now because we're going to put total in cell a16 i'm going to carefully come after the sort here or before the sort i'm going to type in v stack function the vertical stack so press the tab key now this is going to be the array one I'm going to put in a comma for the array to inside double quotes. I'm going to put in totals of the double quote, close the this tag, and then we can reevaluate this as our calculation for now. Control enter. That's amazing. We have the sorted list of the account manager's name and the totals at the bottom. Now, the next thing we want to do is because we have two criteria the first one is the account manager the second one is the order priority so i'm going to come here double click the formula i'm going to delete this delete this alt enter now i'm going to call this one um unique order priority put in a comma now the value that i want to assign is the value in cell k1 
and I can put in a comma, I can evaluate the unique order priority, control, enter. Now, this will return critical because critical is selected in K1. Now, when I switch to, let's see, I, it dynamically updates. That's amazing. So, I'm going to come back here and I'm going to delete this, get rid of this, backspace, alt, enter. Now, the next thing I want to do is to use the count X function for count this on the account manager and order priority so i'm going to call this one count ifs of account manager by order priority now this is going to be a name put in a comma now for the value that i want to assign i'm going to use the count if x function now in the count ifs I'm going to provide a criteria range one, which is the account manager's named range, put in a comma. Now, the criteria one is going to be the unique sorted list of the account manager, which we defined here. So, I'm going to um, put in a comma. Now, for the criteria range two, I'm going to call the order priority named range, put in a comma. And uh, for the criteria two, I'm going to call the unique order priority that we defined here. Close the bracket, comma. Now let's evaluate this count of account manager by order priority. Close the bracket, control enter. Now this gave us the count based on the two criteria. However, you discover that we have zero, which is dropped in cell A16. Now this is because for the account manager we did earlier on, this formula, this particular formula in A, you can see we drop totals here so that's going to give us a list of between 2 to 16 and of course that is why we have this zero dropped in cell a16 now what i'm going to do is to take care of this value by using the new drop function so i'm going to come here to the top cell and i'm going to carefully come here before the count ifs type in the drop press the tab key now it's going to be the array argument input value for the drop function i'm going to put in a comma now for the rows now because we actually want to drop from the bottom not from the top we want to drop the last value from the bottom i'm going to use minus one so minus one is going to take care of the last value from the bottom close the brackets oops close the brackets and control enter to re-evaluate this count ifs of account manager by order priority that's amazing. You can see the zero has been taken care of as a result of using the drop function around the count ifx function. Now, I'm going to done, open the top cell. Uh, I'm going to delete this and backspace, alt, enter. Now, we want to perform the same thing for the average ifx function. So, I'm going to copy this. I'm going to just paste this and then change this count ifs. So average ifs, okay? So it's going to be average ifs of account manager by order priority, comma. Now again, I'm going to use the count, I mean the average ifx function. Now the average ifs, just like the sum ifs, the max ifs, and the main ifs requires the average sum range, max range, and the main range respectively. So for the average range, argument of the average ifs function i'm going to call the total name range put in a comma now for the criteria one argument i'm going to call the account manager's name range put in a comma now the criteria one is going to be the unique sorted list of the account manager put in a comma now the criteria two is going to be the order priority name range put in a comma now the criteria two is going to be the unique order priority close the bracket for the average is comma let's evaluate the average average list average is of account manager by other priority close the bracket control and now you can see that we have the average list however we have to give zero because um we actually have the account manager's name at the total at the bottom so we need to use the drop function to take care of this value in cell a16 so come to the top cell double click carefully before the average ifx function wrap the drop function take this array then put in a comma we want to drop at the bottom just again minus one close the bracket control enter 
and that's amazing cool so let's proceed to the third one which is the okay let me take care of this delete backspace alt enter now i want to deal with the max ifs by account manager and other priorities i'm going to copy this Control v to paste and carefully delete this and use the max ifs of account manager by other priority name put in a comma again i'm going to use the max effect function now this also requires max range so i'm going to call it total name range account manager oops <laughs> account manager's name range put in a comma you make sorted list of account manager comma order priority name range unique order priority close the bracket comma then want to evaluate max ifs of account manager by the priority close the bracket control enter again we have the values and this zero drop in a so to take care of the zero we're going to come back after the or before the max effect type in the drop grab the entire value in the array put in a comma and then i'm going to use minus one close the bracket control and that's amazing so we have it taken care of so we're going to do the same thing for the min ifs i'm just going to copy this okay let me delete this backspace and just copy this Control c alt enter Control v and i'm going to call this one um main and i'm going to just change the function oops i'm going to type in the main function and i think that's all for now let's evaluate the main let's evaluate the main ifs of the account manager by order priority close the bracket Control enter okay so we can see that the zero has been taken care of so finally for now we're gonna do the same thing for the some effects functions i'm going to just copy this Control c Control v and i'm going to just delete this i'm going to call this one some ifs and i'm going to change the function name i'm going to type in the sum function some effects function and then i can call the sum ifs of the account manager by other priority close the bracket control enter now this is the sum amazing and of course we can see that the zero has been taken care of now i'm going to delete this backspace delete alt enter now the next thing we want to do is to use the v stack function to stack the totals at the bottom so i'm going to call this one result of now in the same order i'm going to grab this and paste this name here and this is going to be the result of count ifs of account manager by order priority put in a comma use the v start function press the tab key now the first argument which the array is going to be the same count of account manager by order priority which we did i mean perform there first so that's going to be this now put in a comma the array two is going to be the sum function of the in the aggregate using the sum function of the value that this count of account manager by other priority is delivering so that's going to be the same value now let's close the sum function close the v stack put in a comma now let's evaluate this result of count ifs of account manager by other priority close bracket control and now amazing you can see this actually gave us you know when you grab all this value and you check the status bar it gave us 224 in the status bar and that's the total here quite amazing so we're going to do the same thing for other ones delete this backspace alt enter let me just move this i can see that this formula is becoming quite a voluminous one amazing so i'm going to call this one result of and i'm going to grab this average age of account manager by other priority just paste it in Put in a comma v star and i want to see for the array one let me move this here array one control v comma some function want to aggregate whatever this average ifs of account manager is going to be delivering control v close the sum close the average the v stack and comma and let's evaluate the result of average ifs by of account manager by other priority close the bracket control enter i can see it's amazing when you grab this check the status bar we have 366 
39 and this is the sum 36639 quite amazing so then we we'll open the formula up delete this backspace alt enter so we're going to call this one the next one is going to be all a result of now this is going to be the pod one max of account manager by order priority copy this i'm going to put this here as a name and then i want to assign this value the stack and then i'm going to call the max is of account manager put in a comma is the sum function control v close twice comma and then we'll evaluate the result of max ifs of account manager close to bracket control enter when you grab this and check the status bar we have one okay let's just apply currency formatting country shift four now we can see in the status bar we have the total oops <laughs> when you grab all this you can see we have one seventy nine thousand five one three one seven one seventy nine thousand five one three accurate so double click the formula get rid of this backspace alt enter and then we're going to move to the fourth one result of and i'm going to copy this um mean ifs i'm going to paste here i'm going to put in a comma use the v start function i'm going to control v comma use the sum function control v close the bracket twice comma and then want to call the result of main of account manager by order priority close the bracket control enter and you can see we have the smallest value based on the two criteria we have the total of sum of 17,336 when you check the status bar it corresponds amazing come here again and we we'll delete this backspace alt enter and i'm going to call this one result of now we want to deal with the final one in that category result of some ifs of account manager bar order priority comma v stack function i'm going to control v comma some function control v close the bracket twice oops delete the y comma i'm going to evaluate result of some effects function control and oops okay and there's an, an error okay let me just look at these okay da, 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 da. okay let me see where the error is coming from okay let me just redo this okay so alt enter result off and then i'm going to grab this i'm going to paste here comma v stack and i'm going to control v comma some function control v close the bracket twice comma and then one evaluate okay result of some ethics function oops okay i think this is where the errors i can see this is result so let me just fix this problem so i'm gonna call result okay accurate close the bracket control enter quite amazing so we can see you know when you grab the o value in the status bar we have three one one thousand seven fifty we have three one one seven fifty now this is one of the um thing we need to know in excel how to be able to debug our formula it's a very important skill in excel so you can say actually debug that easily okay so i'm going to get rid of this um delete all things now the next thing we want to do is because we have a column g yeah which is going to hold or house the percentage of total so in this case i'm going to use another name i'm going to call this one percentage of total now comma now the value that i want to assign is going to be this result of some effects some ifs of account manager control v then i'm going to use the divide or the four slash now this is where the take function comes in so i'm going to use the take now the take just like the opposite of drop returns rows or columns from array start or end so press the tab key. Now the array is going to be the same result of some ifs of account manager by order priority. Now I'm going to put in a comma that I want to drop from the bottom. So minus one, close the bracket, count, comma. Now let's evaluate this percentage of total, close the bracket, control, enter. That's amazing. Now this is showing as numbers. Now when I just change it to percentage, number formatting you can see we have formatting that is quite amazing now we are almost coming to the end of this giant formula you know i promise it's going to be a giant formula so don't be scared i'm going to delete this backspace all to enter now 
we need to use the H stack function to begin to stack all that we have been building from the beginning. So I'm going to now, because we actually want to evaluate as we go along, now I'm going to use a name. Now, this is not necessary, but because we want to evaluate, I'm going to use a name. So I'm going to call this one final calculation. What's going to be the name? Calculation. Come on. Now I'm going to use the H stack horizontal stack function. So press the tab here. Now the first argument is the array one. I'm going to actually I want to start this. The unique sorted list of the account manager. So I'm going to come in control V. I can close the H tag for now. Come on. And let's evaluate this final calculation. Um name. Close the bracket. Control enter. That's amazing. We have the unique list, sorted list of the account manager. Double click the formula. Now, the next one I want to start is this result of count ifs of account manager by order priority. So, carefully come in, put in a comma, control V, control enter. You can see it's stacked that to the next in column B. Amazing. So, come to the top cell. The next one is going to be result of average is of account manager by other priority come here yeah, carefully put in a comma control v control enter amazing so we have the result for the average age by account manager and other priority so come here to the top cell again we want to take care of the third one which is the result of max is of account manager by other priority come here put in a comma control v control enter amazing so let's do the same thing for the result of main is control c i come here i put in a comma I control v I control enter and you can see it's beginning to stack them horizontally amazing so let's deal for the let's deal with the result of the of some ifs by account manager and the priority and i'm going to come here um, put in a comma control v control enter and that is stacked amazing and then the final one is to stack the percentage of total which we use the take function and which is one of the reasons why we are doing this you know video take and drop function combine with other functions so i'm going to come here carefully oops put in a comma control v con alt enter amazing now you can see we have the unique sorted list of the account manager with total at the bottom and then we have the count of account manager by order priority we have the average we have the max we have the main and the total and the percentage of total now let's see whether this is actually accurate now when i grab this and i check the status bar we can see two to four two to four it corresponds amazing so the average by account manager and product priority so when i grab this and i take the status bar 36,639 36,639 the max i grab this you can see in the status bar 179,503 179,503 i grab all these i can see the status bar 17,336 17,336 or 337 by running to nearest digit and i grab this i can see Three one one seven fifty thousand, three one one seven fifty thousand, and of course you can see this actually correspond. You can see one hundred percent, one hundred percent, quite amazing. Now the dynamic part is that when I come to the drop down in cell K one and I switch to let's say critical, the formula updates. That is quite interesting. Now let's see whether this um, this total is actually correct. So I'm going to come to the source data. And okay, let me see what we select. Okay, we selected this critical order priorities. I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna check for the order priority column. Okay, here. Yeah. So I'm gonna change this to critical, click OK, and I go to the right column where we have the total. I grab this column, oops, I give you a single shot, boom, and I can see 150,987. When I come here, I can see 150,987. Hmm, amazing. So we can see that our formula is working. Now when I switch to, let's say, uh, medium, the formula dynamically update. So this is how to use the take and drop functions combined with other advanced functions to create a classic dynamic report using a single cell formula. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, please like this video, 
share with your friends, comment in the section below, and subscribe to this channel because the best is yet to come. Thank you and bye for now. Cheers.